Oklahoma Bushcraft here. I'm going to do a little video on uh, wild edibles. Um, I'm not exactly saying this is safe for everyone to do. Some people have intolerances to new foods and by all means get information from lots of resources before you ever put anything in your mouth. There are certain plants that you should never have in your mouth. Some plants like water hemlock and poison hemlock uh, can take less than a mouthful to kill you. There is no cure for it. If you eat it, you will die. So be sure of what you're eating. Uh, so today, I'm going to pick a couple of things. This is the state tree of Oklahoma, eastern redbud tree. Not much is out right now, but uh, the, the leaves on or the, the petals on the flowers are a little tart and you can use them in a salad. Again, I'm going to reiterate, if you don't know what it is, don't put it in your mouth. Here I've got uh, a few flowers. I've picked the stems off of them in my Swedish Army cup. Use them as a salad. I don't think I've ever heard anybody talk about cooking them. But the seed pods that come later on, I've heard, I've eaten them raw. I, w I didn't like it. My buddy, he will... Uh, he will cook them in butter, the seed pods, and he likes them real well. So, anyway, there's part of my salad. I'm going to pick, pick a few more greens. And here's some early growth of lamb's quarter, Chinopodum album. It's about the only plant I can remember its, uh, its Latin name. It'll get about waist high. It's also called goosefoot, several other names. It's probably my favorite wild edible. I'm just going to pinch the top out of them out of a couple and uh, they will be gritty because they're growing right here in the sand so I'll need to wash them treat it just like you would spinach these are daylilies coming up I know what they are because I planted them here I know what the roots look like and all. The whole plant is edible. But a person needs to, if you've never seen them before, wait until the flowers come on before you identify them. It's the easiest way to do it. But, uh, and my goats come over here and I already give them a haircut. But, yeah, I'm not going to put these in my salad today. But, uh, they are, they're like cattails. Everything is edible at some stage in its life, from the, the tubers to the flowers. And even, and even the plants and the shoots. This is dandelion. This is not native to America. The only reason why it's here is somebody brought it from Europe as a food source way back when. Now it covers the entire continent. And uh, a little bit's good. If It's in the, let the same family of plants that lettuce is in. So... Anyway, a few sprigs of these. They get the center ones, not the big ones on the outside, but the ones in the middle. They'll be less bitter. These out here will be more bitter. Here I am in part of one of, in front of one of my autumn olives. Right now they're just loaded with little bitty yellow flowers. It's a sickening sweet smell, but it I just love these things. They attract so many. So many butterflies, moths, and such. That yellow one. And uh, this is my hawthorn. Hopefully this fall it'll be loaded with berries. 